Hey guys, welcome back and thanks for joining me again on the second episode of My Allotment Adventures. Now I've got a few jobs that I'd like to do today, but first of all I wanted to say a big thank you for those of you that messaged me in, on Instagram after my last episode. It really was appreciated and the comments were lovely. Anyway, so while the weather is absolutely gorgeous again, the plan for today is to move my composters. They're currently full um, and we've got three of the new Dalek style composters but I want to get them moved, they're in the way, it's an area that I want to use for cultivation next year so they really need sort of moving on out of the way and whilst everything's growing there's not much in the way of planting to be done, it's the perfect opportunity to have a go at that. I also want to do the dreaded weeding of the parsnip patch which is something that I talked about in the last video. Um, it's absolutely crammed full of weeds and I'm just hoping there are some parsnips under there. Um, a lovely lady did send me a picture of some parsnip seedlings so I now know what I need to look for when I am digging up the, the weeds. Sorry, can't speak. Um, so yeah, really looking forward to that and I'm hoping that there are going to be some parsnips under there. Finally, I have got my very last squashes to plant out. Now, there's two varieties. There's a baby bush scallop squash. Both of the varieties that I've chosen and I'm going to be planting today are bush varieties, so they shouldn't spread too much. Um, similar to a courgette, so they'll be big and they'll take up a lot of room, but they won't spread like, say, a butternut squash or a pumpkin will. So, like I said, I've got a baby white scallop squash to plant out as well as a harlequin bush squash to plant out so hopefully in this episode i'll be able to go through that with you today as well as enjoying all this lovely sunshine so i'm going to get myself a glass of water and then get started on the composter Okay guys, so here I am starting to move the compost from the old compost bin into the new compost bins. Um, the purpose of this is, as you can see, the compost area here that you can see me moving the compost from is taking up a lot of space on the allotment which we want to use for crops next year. Last year this area was completely covered in weeds wasn't cultivated so it was the perfect place to sort of put the composters and as we dug we could just pop all the the, uh, the vegetation in there and just leave it now we want to use the space now the rest of the allotment has been cultivated it's um, time we got them moved over out of the way this video was initially about 40 minutes long so I've sped it up by about eight times just so you don't have to sit and watch me well, basically digging for 40 minutes. I'm just going to dig one to show you, move it, and then I was going to do the other one off camera. But I couldn't do that because when I got to near the bottom of this one, something happened, which I'll show you a bit later on. Um, but I also realised that the two um, composters were joined together. I forgot that we joined them together when we built it, so I couldn't move it. And I stood there for ages thinking, why won't this move? and that's because the other one was still completely full. Like I said, I didn't want to bore you with another 40 minutes of me emptying the other composter, so what I'll do is empty both sides and get it moved, and then I'll come back and show you a screenshot of what it looks like when it's all in place. And you can see the amount of room that we've gained as well from moving the two composters out of the way. So looking at this video now, they're actually going to be moved to the right hand side of the screen, sideways on, um, right in the corner, so that will give us way, way more space. Um, I think I'm getting towards the end of it now. But as I say, I decided to do one, was then going to move it and show you, but obviously can't, obviously getting a bit warm there. Um, this must be about 25 to 30 minutes into moving it now. Those composters are bigger than you think. 
but I did make a bit of a discovery when I got towards the bottom which is what brought me to a grinding halt. Um, I'll, let's say I'll go into a bit more detail of that in a little while. Um, it's obviously important to make sure you compost on your allotment. You don't need unnecessary waste. Um, and yeah, it's good for your vegetables. I've had this composter now since it was one of the first things I did when I got the allotment. So around 18 months, I would say. This is me trying to now move it and realise that I can't. Because it's so heavy and because they're joined together. Yeah, so like I was saying, I've had the composters now for around 18 months. The bottom stuff is absolutely brilliant. Make sure you have a mixture of wet and dry. You can cover your compost in tarpaulin as well or something similar, just to make sure it keeps warm and keeps moist. That's something we're going to focus on a bit more this this year. Um, now the composters will all be in their final place. You might be wondering where I'm actually putting all of that compost that I'm moving. We've actually got three of those Dalek style composters as well that have been gifted to us actually from allotment neighbours which is really kind. So the stuff that I'm now putting in is almost, well near enough pretty much completely broken down. So hopefully the compost in those Daleks will be ready to use and we can start again in the big composters. Okay, so when I got to this point, this was the point when I discovered that there was something in the composter, which means that I had to stop. And here is the reason why. How cute were they? Oh my goodness. I must admit I've sat for about an hour watching them now. Um, they are just so, so cute. Um, oh, bumblebee flying everywhere. So, so cute. I just, oh, they're lovely. Anyway, I'm going to have to leave them. I'm going to have to put the finish and the composter on hold for today. I'll, I'll leave it a couple of days, make sure they have sort of moved on. I don't want to disturb them. So we'll leave them to it come back in a few days maybe next weekend now maybe it's something we can do in the next video and I'll finish getting them moved but for the time being I think it can wait anyway the next job like I say is going to be on to doing the parsnips now in the last video I did show you the state of that area it is just a hundred percent weeds I it's difficult because when you haven't grown something before it's hard to know what to expect underneath um, and yeah I've never grown parsnips before so I've had done my research now I found out what a seedling looks like so I suppose we should just get to it and see what we can find underneath all of those weeds
Okay, so as you can probably see, there doesn't look like there's very much here at all. Um, I'll give it one more quick breakdown and we'll see what's left. So as you can see, I have now weeded the whole row and I've got a grand total of five parsnips. I sowed three rows of seeds back earlier in the year, then did some successionally a few weeks later as I didn't have any come up or appear to come up. But I'll look after these five, it might only be five. But, um, they'll be well taken care of. Now I'm not going to lie, I think I was expecting more than five. Um, five parsnips. Now I planted three rows, two weeks apart on those parsnips. They were called the student variety. Um, so in excess of 200 seeds were planted down there. So I'm a little bit disappointed with five. Um, but never mind, those five will be very, very well looked after. I know it's too late to sow more parsnips now, so I'll just look after the ones I've got and hopefully they'll make it to the table for Christmas dinner. My last job of the day is to plant out my squashes, like I said, my baby bush and my harlequin squash. And then it's definitely time to head home. It is a warm one today and I don't want to be out in the sun for too long. So let's get those squashes planted.
Okay guys, so that is it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. I need to get out of the sun now, it's really, really warm. The only thing I'm gonna do now before I go is pick some rhubarb for the first cooking episode, which should be the next episode in the series. Hopefully a rhubarb crumble, just before it finishes for the year. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you all next time.